Leaning 50 helps Kent to great escape. Rain once again reared its ugly head at Emirates Old Trafford on day three. A large portion of it lost to the weather with a lead of 185. They were battling against the elements again on day four. No play possible until lunch, and Villas took the plunge, declaring in the hope that Mr. 1000 Jimmy Anderson and his bowling colleagues could fire. They did just that. Wood with the first wicket. Robinson, his victim, caught behind with 13 on the board. Not the wisest of shots considering the circumstances. And then another, Anderson with his eighth of the match. Jones started the catch, Wells completed it. Lamb followed that with Denley's wicket. Kent still 145 behind when he picked out Davis in the leg side. Coon and Leaning took the total to 50 runs, and they kept going. Perhaps Kent were going to dig themselves out of a hole. When Coon fell on 21 to Hartley, the target was still above 100, but it was clear the visitors weren't about to let the first innings happen all over again. Leaning made sure of that. Boundaries off Anderson and Lamb took them past the 74 they'd mustered in their first dig, and crucially, ensured the deficit dropped into double figures. Rain returned and brought the tee break forward. The score 88 for 4, but Kent now had some hope. Kent moved on to three figures at the restart. Mayeye and Leaning now looking a bit more comfortable as the scoreboard pressure eased. But Mayeye couldn't stick in there. Hartley with another, the number 6, out LBW for 7. Stevens did manage to hang around with Leaning, the deficit now reducing towards 50 runs. Wells saw the back of the veteran, out LBW for 17, with 53 required to make Lancashire bat again. The spinners were trading wickets. Hartley left Lancashire needing three when Milnes was caught behind. Two balls later, he had Podmore, bowled by the turn, and Kent was surely now heading for defeat. Leaning had been Kent's main route of resistance, and his knock brought him a 50, coming from 176 balls. Hard yards for the number four, but would it all be in vain? It wouldn't. Kent managed to pull off what looked an incredibly difficult task. Handshake shared on the old Trafford wicket, with two left needed for a Lancashire victory. The result was a difficult one to take for the hosts, so dominant for large swathes of the game, and in truth, with another session, they'd probably have picked up the win. It will go down in the history books, if only for Anderson's incredible first inning spell. Victory would have been the cherry on top he deserved. Instead, they'll head to Emerald Headingley, desperate to get one over on their old rivals, and leapfrog them into top spot. Kent end the group stage battling it out with Sussex to avoid finishing bottom of the pile.